reactions from the audience and the fans and everybody. It's just so inspiring to see that. And you know, we're working really hard. We just want to make the best game that we could ever make. But you know, it's really exciting to be here and I just feel really happy about it. That's what I'm talking about! We created this timeline between 2020 and 2077 and according to this timeline there are four different visual styles that are reflected in the fashion, architecture, the design of the weapons, the design of the cars and these four different styles they are really connected to events in the history so using this as a backbone for the visual design of Night City we were able to create a city that really feels like it has a history it has different kinds of people living there it's really a mix of all kinds of architecture and I think that really added to the realism of Night City. Be my man, you made it. You blowing up all over the news. I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, uh. Being one of the most anticipated games uh, currently out there is certainly a big responsibility, but the way we take it at the studio, it's encouraging us. It gives us the power to deliver the product that we are showing you uh, here at the Gamescom. And we have a certain vision when it comes to cyberpunk. We want to create a certain type of game. The technology that we're developing for gaming is certainly allowing us to create more immersive games as we envision with uh, Cyberpunk 2077. The most challenging part of making cyberpunk, I think, was to get from the Witcher mindset to the cyberpunk mindset in order to create an experience that really gets the player hooked and make him feel that he is actually part of the story. You need details as well because they make it easier to uh, realize for the player in what kind of environment he is. Night City is a future metropolis, so in order to create it very realistically, you had to make sure that it looks good both at day, at night, but in all the phases in between as well. When it came to night, you also had to pay attention that there are many light sources out there. There are neons all over the place. So we uh, developed a global illumination system that allowed the light to bounce off objects in order to make the world feel more realistic. And we certainly also used the uh, RTX technology in order to improve our shadow quality. And the end effect is mesmerizing. You know, when you design a city, you really have to think of the composition of the city and what does it look like when you stand at the bottom of a building? What does it look like when you stand on the top floor? What kind of view will you have? And to capture all this, we use rendering software to see every angle to really be able to design complex environments much better. One thing that you will be able to do in Cyberpunk 2077 is you will be able to dynamically interact with your environment even if you are playing out cutscenes. The player will not even notice, it's seamless between gameplay and narrative moments. We want to give the player the control to actually affect what is happening in a conversation between two people, which exceeds the common dialogue options known from the game. So you might find some objects around laying for you that might influence how the scene will play out. Game development is a creative process. We are running around many ideas, looking for those ideas that will make this game as much fun as possible for our community, because this is what we are all about. We are creating games for gamers. We appreciate so much the enthusiasm and it just inspires us a lot. I'm just really looking forward to next year and that I really hope people will take their car and just drive around Night City and enjoy the level of detail that we have put into this Cyberpunk 2077.